Tonight, two young people in Kentucky are in the hospital with a serious syndrome doctors believe is linked to COVID-19. It's new on the night team and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. This mysterious syndrome causes children's immune systems to become overactive, creating an inflammatory response. First reported in New York and children have died from it. As doctors continue to learn more about it, there are some questions about what this new syndrome could mean for the reopening of child care in Kentucky. So the night team's Tyler Emery is joining us live now live downtown. She's outside Norton Children's Hospital. Tyler. Well, Doug, also today, Norton Healthcare announced it is treating two minors for this illness here at Norton Children's. Now, they didn't specify if those two are the same two that the governor talked about earlier this afternoon. But tonight, I spoke with daycare owners that say this just makes them much more cautious about reopening next month. It makes me terrified. Very terrified. Daycare owners in Louisville are growing concerned about the possibility of opening their doors back up to kids next month. Being a child care provider, I have to think about their health. Now, after two minors in Louisville are in the hospital with a mysterious new illness stemming from COVID-19, it's causing some child care providers to say they definitely won't be opening. I don't want to go to an uncertainty with babies. I, I don't want that on my conscience. Monday, we learned a 10-year-old boy is critically ill on a ventilator. And today, Governor Andy Bichette Shear says a 16 year old is also in the hospital. He is in a regular medical bed and was admitted to the hospital out in abundance of caution. Both are experiencing a rare baffling illness. Doctors are now calling pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome or PMIS. For these individuals who have this, this is very dangerous and life threatening. Norton confirmed it is evaluating two children with inflammatory symptoms related to COVID-19, but gave no details about those patients. Dr. Christina Bryant, one of their pediatric infectious disease experts today, compared the illness to Kawasaki disease. Reason that we worry about Kawasaki disease is that it affects blood vessels in the body, including the blood vessels that supply the heart. The illness causing respiratory or gastrointestinal problems develops weeks after a child had the coronavirus. If I have families that need childcare, I'm going to provide that. Despite the uncertainty, some daycare owners are still committed to reopening June 15th, planning to provide as many safety precautions as they possibly can. By the way, the governor today, today said that that 10 year old little boy is doing a little better tonight, but is still fighting hard on a ventilator in the ICU. The 16 year old is doing well while they also receive treatment in the hospital. 